Hi everyone, Ponzi Ferrello here. I've decided to make a few more videos and this one's going to be about something that's been on my mind. My auntie told me a story over Thanksgiving dinner that's had me thinking about perspective, context, and experience. You know, there's a lot of talk on the web about context, context. Everything should be taken in context. And it's true. Um, all of our perspectives are very different depending on what our values are, what our experience is, and the context in which we are conveying those perspectives. And the story is so cute I just had to share it. Um, do you have a way that you always peel your banana? I do. For as long as I've lived, I've always been taught to peel a banana one way, this way. My mom always started at the top and then she'd break it and pull it down. And this is how we would always eat our bananas, just like that, always. I've never known that there was another way to peel a banana. Well, my auntie growing up in Thailand had always peeled her banana differently. When she came here and went to work, she said she was sitting in a lunchroom and she went to peel a banana at lunch and the whole place just stopped, started looking at her. And this was a huge lesson in perspective. She was always taught to hold the banana this way. And from this end, you peel. And that's always the way she's been taught. Neither's wrong, it just is what it is. My auntie actually went on to say that it was more logical to do it this way because you need the handle to hold it with. I just thought that was so cute. And I never thought of it, but that's true. By the, by the time I'm at the end of my banana, this way, there's nothing left to hold. This is true. My auntie's way, there is a handle. So that's just funny and it goes to show that everyone's perspective is very different. We need to be respectful of everyone's and it's just all a matter of how we grew up, what our experiences are and how we were taught. Um, another funny story is peeling potatoes. My mom, Western View, I was taught, from, we're from North Carolina, was you always hold the potato and you have a peeling knife in this hand and you peel and you let go. Peel to your thumb. Let go. Peel. Let go. Well, my auntie, when she showed me, she said you always take the knife and you push away. 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 You shave away. And so, you know, after talking to them both a little bit about it, why we were taught what we were taught, my auntie says you would always push away because you wouldn't want to cut yourself, right? Because if you pull this way, you could cut yourself. You could cut your finger. Which is true, because when I'm peeling with a paring knife, I'm actually peeling the peel up to my thumb, but I've never cut myself doing that. I don't even remember what age I learned to do that. I mean, I must have been small, nine, eight, nine, but still, I never have cut myself, but it makes logical sense that you'd push away so that you wouldn't cut yourself. Well, my mom's reasoning is almost the complete opposite. She says when you're holding a knife, you always cut towards yourself, because you don't want to hurt someone else. So if you had pushed the knife, you could accidentally let go of the knife and it could go flying across the room. So when holding a knife, you always pull it towards yourself and you hold it and brace it. So neither perspective is wrong. They're both completely right. They're both completely logical. Not a wrong answer there. It's just a different way of doing things. And it reminds us that perspective is unique. Everyone's is different and we all have our own experiences and our own context and why we create them. The most important thing is that we as people respect each other and our different perspectives. So people have asked me what I'm thinking about, what my thoughts are about. These are some of my thoughts. Um, I would love to hear how you peel bananas. <laughs> do you peel your bananas this way or do you peel your bananas this way? Or how do you peel your potatoes? Are you a peeler towards yourself or away from yourself?
please share your videos. I think this is great. I hope that there's at least like 20 different ways to peel bananas or 20 different ways to peel a potato. I never honestly thought of another way to peel a banana than the way I was taught. And so it just made me have a short little lesson in perspective and that I need to always be open to new ways of doing things. And I hope you are too. And I hope you like this little story. It was fun to tell you.